Welcome, welcome. Now we'll do our welcome, welcomes. Because <laughs> apparently I missed, <laughs> didn't pay attention to one little detail, and... Don't worry about it. We'll start the show in the beginning soon. I'm just going to give it a few, a few as always, so others who want to show can come and watch our episode. Without further ado, welcome, I think we can begin, so welcome to the next show. I'm your host, TK Diz, Isaac Quist of Aeon. Orion, you know what you can call me. As you can see, we once again returned to Persona 3 Portable. As last time on Persona 3 Portable, the fall happened. And well, we took on Nyx. And through a gruesome fight that was mostly long just because of how many times she can die, or switch arcanas, I should say, <coughs> we were able to defeat Nyx, along with our literally flying up to the moon to face her with the power of the universe. That's right, the power of the universe arcana, based on all of our bonds together, and literally all of our friends calling out to us and giving us the power to cast the Great Seal. With a bit of a fast forward, we're now currently on graduation day. March 3rd? 3rd. Although it seems with... I'm a little confused how the game explains this. It seems our characters have lost the memories of being members of Seas. And... Well, they lost the memories of being Seas. And don't remember all their interactions from the Dark Hour. Although I will have to say, the oddity is two things. Though it might, if we see Yukari and Junpei's lines here. <coughs> hey, Minaka, on your way home? Are you doing anything? I wanted to talk to you about something. That's kind of embarrassing. So can we go to the roof? Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that first. But it seems I'm going to get... Our, we still are friends with Junpei and Yukari, but we don't remember... Anything about like Akihiko, Mitsuru, or even Aegis. Although, the way it's implied, and you know, because Aegis is a robot and probably not affected by that, she still remembers, so I wasn't expecting this scene from Yukari. Sorry for calling you out here. Um, I actually have a little favor to ask. Well, Yukari's eyes are cast down as if hesitating. <coughs> it's my mom. I want you to meet her. I just promised to visit my mom, but I'm still kind of scared. If I see her, I might end up saying some nasty, really nasty things. What if we end up hurting each other even more? I don't want to hurt her feelings. I still haven't sorted this all out inside. I think I do want to see her. That's why I thought it'd be great if you could be there with me. Having you there make, will make me feel more confident, and I want you to want to introduce you to her. I want to tell her that you're my best friend. See, yeah, we do still remember, and I'm guessing you only see this if you max out Yukari's social link. Which makes me wonder, if you have the male protagonist, will you get the same thing? 
Because I have never actually seen the male protagonist's uh, character arc with her. So, if it's not too much trouble, how about it? Sure. Really, thanks. <coughs> well, then I'll call her right away. I've been putting this off for so long. Let's see, how does during spring break sound? Man, I didn't even realize it until just now that spring break's almost here, huh? <coughs> we're already seniors. I wonder if we're going to have new people come to our dorm. It'd be nice if we got along with them. I mean, we never really interacted with Mitsuru Senpai or Akihiko Senpai. See, they don't rec remember anything from the Dark Hour, which is to say, because we have interacted a lot with Akihiko Senpai. We literally fought with him since at pretty much every battle. He was a member of our party. <coughs> at the end of the year, we'll graduate and go to college and then start a career. That feels like it's still a long way off. I wonder what's going to happen to us. Anyways, let's just remember to keep a, a day open during spring break, okay? I'll get in touch with you later. See ya. <coughs> yeah, so I'm guessing there's still more we can do. <coughs> let's talk to Rio. <coughs> Monaco. You're funny. Every time I think about you, there you are. Hey, can you come with me for a little bit? Oh, yeah, so I'm guessing you get these scenes with all your social links. Max out ones. Get on high, Jim. Ryu is starting, staring nostalgically at the volleyball court. Oops, wrong button. I didn't have any fun at all in this club until you joined the team. I thought that everything in my life was painful when it came to volleyball. <coughs> I even blamed my teammates when things didn't go my way. I thought they weren't being serious enough. They were, and were pulling me down. I resented everyone else for my own failures. But it's different now. Playing volleyball is fun, and I have fun every day too. It's because I have a new goal. I have a goal now. I was always at a loss about what good it would do in my life if I kept playing volleyball. I thought that I need to hurry up and put an end to my love of the game and go back to studying. That never came across on her social thing. I feel like. But then I was in academic counseling, academic and career counseling. Here's what I said. I want to go to college by playing volleyball. I'm going to get a four-year scholarship and play after I graduate. I'll even go to the Olympics. I mean, I was never actually saying it, but that's what I was thinking. I'd rather not have a dream at all if it's just going to fall through on me in the end. I was scared, but I learned how to have courage from you and everyone else in the club. I learned how to be strong and how to go for something I want. Thank you. Rio bows slightly. Well, I just want you to know that. I'm going to go along with a college training camp during spring break. I want to tell you before I left. Wish me luck during, that I don't start complaining during training. Well then, see you. So yeah, I'm guessing yeah we can get all these scenes with our social links. But I do think we have to max out the social links. So you can't, so like we won't be able to see it with Akihiko. I mean, I'm not even sure if Akihiko works because we didn't max him out. Plus, even if we did max him out, he shouldn't remember us, so... Fuka. Oh, Monaka-chan, what a coincidence. Uh, I have something to ask you. Um, where should I start? Anyways, come with me. <coughs> hmm? Yamagishi, what are you doing outside the faculty office? Um, I want to start a tech club. Tech gloves? You mean tactician's gloves? Well, I think you have to go to a hardware store for... The fuck is wrong? Someone get a squirt gun clean the shit out of his, his ears. Um, not tech gloves, a tech club. Like a club all about technology and electronics. You want to start a club? Why is Yamagishi so troublesome? Motherfucker! Why are you a teacher? I hate this teacher. He reminds me of an old boss. Same one I have to be talking to when I messed up my life. Ugh. Sorry, I'm just realizing it's in November. It's going to be close and close to that time. Look, it's already March. Why can't you at least wait until April? Huh? But I really wanted to get started on it now. I'll do my best to find members. Um, so do I have your permission to start a club? What? You mean to say you don't have any members yet? And it's not even worth discussing. You can't start a club without at least five members. Now then, I feel like this should have been the start of her link. Oh, he's gone. Well, it looks like I need to find five people. I could make an, make an unauthorized club like the cooking club, but... Wait, that was never authorized? I'm not gonna would you like to join my tech club? Okay. Yes, I'm so glad. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh no, I definitely wonder why Mitsuru hasn't... Hasn't fired his ass! Although, liking much Isn't he also the same teacher who fucked up with Fuka to begin with? <coughs> I don't remember. I thought, like, liking electronics made me strange. I just kept it to myself because I thought it was strange for a girl to be interested in that. 
But you know how I gave you those headphones? See, yeah, I think they can they they do remember certain things like bonds in certain situations seem. I'm guessing it has anything if it's anything related to the dark hour itself and what went on in that. Like the friendship with Akihiko and Mitsuru only happened and I guess happened because of the dark hour. Well, the social links had nothing to do with the dark hour. When I thought about how it might make you happy, I couldn't help but feel excited. It was the same feeling I felt when I cooked with you, Nako-chan. When I was bothered about trying to cook things right, I kept messing up and wanted to give up. That was because I had forgotten why I was doing it. I, want, excuse me. I wanted to study cooking because I wanted to make something that you and everyone else could enjoy. Everything just became more fun once I remembered that. <coughs> I like everyone, including you, Nako-chan, I want you all to be happy, always to be happy. Once I realized that, I figured that I could make everyone happier with what I'm really good at. That's why I decided to form a tech club. I want to improve my skills and make various things everyone can use. Question mark? Keep saying everyone, but who am I talking about? It makes me feel really warm inside, and I don't, I do like them, but I can't remember their faces. So it seems they can remember some things. Hmm. I almost forgot. The cooking club will continue to meet, too. I'll be real busy, but I won't keep trying. It's like... I really want to give it everything I have. I'll be happy if you showed up to the cooking club next year too. And if you want, the tech club will always will welcome you too. <coughs> right, I need to hurry and find some tech club members. First, I need to make some posters. We'll see you later. Okay. I'm trying to think, who else in the school can we visit? Well, let's see who else we can find. I'll be honest, I don't think we can... Uh, yeah, I don't think we can find anyone else, because the only other person I think we had for the school link was is no longer in the school. But hey, let's explore. You can see we can't find Mitsuru. Akihiko's not a bit library. It's a library. You remember how you and Sayori worked together as members of the library committee here? I answer. We might be able to come here and find her. Gakugan Library. The door is unlocked. There's no one inside. Oh, there you are. You remember Sayori Hasagara, right? I have a letter for you. Aw, Miss Onishi hands you a letter. Her work here as a member of the library committee must have been her only fond memories of this place. Well, have a safe trip home. Miss Onishi leaves. You decide to read the letter alone in the library. Monako-chan, how are you? This is probably the first time I've called you that. I'm doing well. Sayori's small handwriting fills the paper. You can imagine Sayori's smiling face as you wrote this letter. I've gotten used to the- I was expecting- Are we gonna see her? I've made friends that I- That I talk to and laugh with every day. But there's no one like you who would get angry and stand up for me. I think you're the only person who would do that for me after all. But I believe that it would make you happy if I learn to enjoy li my life in this new place. I'm doing my best to live on my own- my own life here. There's one thing that I never told you. I did love someone, but he's no longer with us. I made him suffer and forced him into a corner. My parents severely blamed me for the incident. They sent me out as an exchange student, and I never knew when I'd be able to return to this country. My parents must have not wanted to see my face. Because I was sent far away to a country where I had no one to rely on, I didn't go to school at all. A church took me in, and I prayed for his soul every day. I prayed for him, that he would forgive me for being too weak to kill myself, and then, oh my god, that is dark. Manakachar, I'm so sorry. I was so weak that I couldn't tell you this. I was scared that you would hate me. After we started being friends, I began to want something more than a casual friendship. I wanted you to come to understand me. But no one is ordering me around anymore. I'm acting as I wish. But being in control of your destiny, it's a scary thing. If I hurt someone's feelings, I feel like I'm denying myself something. It's much easier if I go with the flow. But not doing... That is to stand, but not doing that is to stand up for what you taught me. It means I am alive, and I am meant to be alive. It's almost spring break. I won't be going back home. I haven't contacted my parents either. But one day I want to be able to say that I'm glad I'm living. And then I want to thank my parents. And this is all because I had a friend like you. Thank you. With my deepest gratitude, Sayori Hazagara. Letter ends there. 
I don't regret coming to the library. Unfortunately, that should be our last link in the school. <coughs> so as long as we can leave the school, because yeah, because we shouldn't be able to find anyone else here, because we didn't max out any other links here. Okay, so let's do the mall. I don't see our devil of a president, Club Escade. What can we see? Our monk. Oh no, yeah, the monk's not here. So maybe you can't find Ashi? Ooh, the velvet room. Oh yeah, can't find the velvet room. Our time as a guest is over, we, but we were a remarkable guest. Oh, Bunkichi. Oh, hello, Monaka-chan. How have you been? You've grown so much since the last time I saw you. Come on, dear. There's no way she could have grown that much in such a short time. What must have happened is that we shrank, right, Monaka-chan? Uh, good point. Good point. You got me there. By the way, Monaka-chan, I'm thinking of giving this old place a remodeling. I'll make it even showier than the wing they're adding to Gekogon. Speaking of which, the school decided to move the perma... Summon tree to another field. It will be replanted on a hill where you can see the whole campus. So our son can walk. Okay, see, that's a better ending than I remember there originally. Just cutting down the tree after everyone worked hard to save it. Just That sounds so bad. Like, and then they're deciding to do it. Uh, I, I didn't like that ending. So our son can watch over the school and its students. I know that tree isn't really our son, but it still makes me happy. Oh, my dear wife heard she couldn't... Once my dear wife heard, she couldn't stop crying. Come on, smile. Bah! Don't yell, dears. Your dent don't yell, dear. Your dentures will fall out. Anyhow, we'll support the Gekokon High students as best we can. You look very mature now, Monaco-chan. You must have been working so hard. Come visit us anytime. And with that, I can think of only two more links we can actually visit. Because if... Oh, who are you? Hmm? You're... Monaka-san writes, I'm Maiko's dad. If you have a minute, can we sit and talk for a while? Sure. Then, mind walking with me for a while? You just said you wanted to sit and talk! I'll buy you takiyaki. Takiyaki. There's a good ta takiyaki there. But I bet you already know. You know that already. <coughs> when I see this place, I remember all the times I come here with Maiko. She came here when she ran away from home, too. She really loved the takoyaki. She was a good kid, huh? Yes, she was. She's so good that I wonder if she's really my kid sometimes. I got a letter from Maiko. It's long and full of details about her new life over there. She's saying she made lots of friends. Let's see, she's in charge of the rabbit at our new school, and she gets up early to clean the cages. They yelled at her for forgetting her he uniform. She forgot her homework, and she had to copy of friends. I never knew she was that forgetful. Oh, she did so well at her recorder test that she was asked to perform in front of everyone. Then she goes on to talk about how she plays at the park right by school with her friends every day. Her mother's doing well, too. They're having lots of fun together. Having fun. Sounds nice. Nowadays, I come home to an empty house. The room seems so big without them. I wonder if she feels the same way about her house, now that there's no dad in it. We put that kid through so much on our, kind of our own problems. I feel terrible about it all. Terrible about it all. Monaco really seemed to like you. She wrote about you in her letters, too. I love Monaco. Hope we can become a family for real. I was thinking. Uh, oh my god, no! No, oh god, no! She is a six... Either a 16 or a 17 year old girl now. No! Um, would you be willing to go out with me? Er, don't misunderstand. I just thought Michael would like that. Uh, of course... Okay, at least... At least he's at least asking after she turns 18. But... Still, dude, that was bad. That was bad. Of course, I'm talking about after you turn 18. The law is the law, right? Or, or what? That didn't come out right. Um, what am I saying? No, huh? Sorry, forget I, what I said. <laughs> Goodbye. That's that's an ending. <coughs> Michael's dad ran off. <coughs> Still gonna check out the shine one more time. I'm curious. Oh, and if you try doing this, what happened? Relation Fortune 100 yen. However, they're out of tickets for today. Yeah, it makes sense you can't get tickets. 
Question mark? Hello there. No. Oh. You must be. Um, by any chance, is your name Monaco-san? Yes. I see. So you're Monaco-san. Oh, excuse me. I'm Mrs. Kamikichi. <coughs> Akinari's mother. My son talked about you a lot. I was just thinking about him. If you had, could have the time, could you sit here and talk about him with me? Okay. That's wonderful. Please sit down. Today is a special day. <coughs> what a coincidence seeing you today. It must be another of God's tricks. Today, aww. Today's my son's Akinari's birthday. He'd be 20 if he still, he was still, aww. Magus, what are you saying what the fuck to? Only 19 years. It wasn't long enough. He was almost an adult, but, he'll ne but he never made it. <coughs> he had a genetic disease. Me, I'm healthy as a horse, but him? The doctors detected it at birth. They knew he wouldn't live to see adulthood. Every day I wondered if he'd wake up the next morning. I blamed myself for what he inherited. But he said something to me near the end. I'm sorry to have brought so much pain in your life, mother. I'm glad to have been given life. I'm glad to have been your son. Thank you so much for the life you've given me. That's what he said. He was the, the one who suffered so much, and yet he said that to me. But my son brought me a lot of joy, too. Holding his warm body in my arms just after he was born. Those tiny hands, that for, oh god, this just reminds me of seeing my niece now. <laughs> She's only four months old. That first smile. Hearing him breathe easily at night. Every day I gave thanks for him being alive. Every day I found new joy in him. And now I'm so lonely there's nothing I can do. But my boy gave me so much. That I have to keep going on looking straight ahead. That's how I feel. I eat the finest food, bit the most exotic faces. Everything my boy could never do. I'll have so many stories to tell him about the things I've done. On that day, when we meet again on the other side, if I didn't have that look to look forward to it, I don't know how it could go on. That's kind of depressing at the end. That reminds me, my son's condition worsened. He started running a fable. But when I was cleaning out his room, I never found the notebook. He said he was going to show it to you first when he was done. I asked, why not me? And he laughed. Yeah, that was definitely a weird one. That was definitely a weird one. I'm not gonna, that, I wasn't expecting that. <coughs> I asked why not me and he laughed. You'll be the second one to see it, mom. I suppose he wasn't able to finish the story. He did finish it. What? So he was able to give you the notebook. You explained how you received the notebook from Akinari and that you re heard the entire story from him. I, I see. I'm so glad. That was my only regret. It was awful to think that he wasn't able to finish his project. I see. You should hold on to that notebook. I'm sure that's what my boy would have wanted. I'll wait for him to tell me, tell it to me himself when I see him again. Huh? Now I have something else to look forward to. That's dark. But yeah, if it makes sense to you, basically this is why Akinari disappears after you finish his social link. It's not that he left. He died basically the point after you finish it. Which is damn. This come he stood up quietly. I'm glad you and I could finally meet. Thank you. There's one piece of advice I'd like to give you as an old lady to a young one. Take good care of the ones dearest to you. If you wait until their time has come, you are clinging to their cold bodies, then it's too late. Everyone who is born will die someday. Not just Akinari or me or you. It happens to everyone. So before that happens, it doesn't have to. It doesn't take a grand gesture. You don't have to make a big production out of it, but if you love someone, let them know it. We all go through life with the same struggles, with the same heartbreak. We should be able to prop each other up with the same love and kindness as well. I'm sure you have something precious you can share with people. Always remember that. Miss Kamiki left without looking back. Okay, unfortunately, I don't know where else we could go. It's not very box. Come tomorrow. Woof. Oh. oh, damn. Because Seeds doesn't remember their bonds. Konamaru's not back at the dorm. Or, because that had something to do with dark, with the dark hour. Damn, I almost didn't do him either. And obviously, you can't find Ryoji. And I, I guess we won't see either, I guess, because 
We don't know where she ran off. Konamaru is nuzzling you with his nose. You put it him softly. Why? Konamaru seems content. He won't budge from the in front of the shrine. Could he be remembering the priest who used to live here? Why? Konamaru is staring quietly at the shrine. He spent some time with Konamaru. Town map. <coughs> see what happens outside the dorm. What do we see? Now let's go back to school. Let's try the Port Island Station. We might see something interesting there. Has the station really just been this small the entire time? Oh, no, because that's a town map. Station outskirts. Wow, this station really is so friggin' small. There's not much on this map, you know. Alright. Turns. Uh, this is just another way to back. Right, let's go back to Gekko Hine. So I want to see something. Whatever, we'll look around some more. I'm just curious about something. Just to prove what I mean, how you have to max out the links, we're going to go see if we can't find Junpei. What's up, dude? Let's go to Hadaguri. I haven't had the special in a while. Nah, not today. Uh, but don't be such a wet blanket. Come on, we're friends, right? A couple of buds racing through our beautiful ass salons together. We shout at the sunset and chase the waves. Well, forget that for now. Guess what? Tarumi since I called her to, called me to her office again. She asked me what my plans were from April onward. Jeez, like I have any. I was grinning, but I got one hell of a lecture for it. Why is she so damn serious about it? Kenji said she doesn't even calm down for cake anymore. Damn, dude. Oh, yeah, I heard from Kenji that the new teacher is coming in April are all women. He was so excited it hurt to look at him. Not that I care. I already got someone. Wait. I did have someone, right? Oh, so they did... Hey, I'm not kidding. Why would I make up something that impressive? So he, so you, they can at least, there's at least hints they can remember some relationships, but they might not be able to connect the dots. Especially, again, if it happens with the Dark Hour. Because if you remember, Chidori is who he's talking about, and he only met Chidori because of Strega and all that. Or at least a lot of that was related to the Dark Hour. And again, since, you know, she came back to life because of her persona and accidentally getting Life from hot flowers. Ugh, just shows you to always be a good understanding boyfriend. Or whatever the hell you called Junpei and Chidori before all that. I just wanted to say that I had someone important before. How could I forget something that important? Something I know I'm not supposed to forget. Sorry man, I'm going to pass on the ramen. So I'm guessing you can't actually go get ramen. <coughs> so yeah, since we didn't max out his social link, we won't get like a scene. But now I'm curious about something. I'm still sure we're, we're sh still sure we should have been able to have seen those last two. Because the only two we haven't found yet are the monk and the president. But where the fuck would they be? There's no one. Yeah, there's nothing over here. You can't go up here. I'm gonna go around. It's too crowded right now. Wait. Apparently you can go. Oh no. no. Cafe you can't go to. Back alley. Let's try back alley. Is there anyone here? No, no, no. That, that's... I always keep forgetting that the back alley is the... Okay. So let's try the strip mall, maybe. Just 
Maybe there's something I'm forgetting. Just one second floor. <coughs> no? So where the fuck would he be? Data station. Where are you? Thought about following Nick Sisama, see if I could get my family back. But that wouldn't have helped. It was my fault sticking with this job and ignoring my family. I'm thinking about going to see my wife and trying to patch things up with her. Okay. Station kiosk. Uh, fuck, I guess we're gonna have to go to the dorm. I, I legit can't figure out where else we could go. First floor lounge. It's evening, maybe we just have to wait until the evening? The TV is left on, the news is on. Coming up next, a special reporting on the amazing Konamini's Corpse of the Tanaka's amazing Konamini's program. President Tanaka's failure to account for certain expenditures has caused a media stir lately. We now join our field reporter live from the scene. I'm reporting from the amazing Konami's head office, <coughs> where a swarm of journalists has convened. Word has it that President Tanaka will be coming out shortly to make an statement. Maybe this is where you just have to meet it. The tension in the air here can't be denied. Thank you. We'll be looking forward to updates as soon as anything happens. Back to the studio. The uncounted expenditures has sparked a massive investigation. Some theorize that tax evasion is the cause. Oh, there's no question about that. I remind you that this is President Tanaka we're talking about. He tricked his own viewers for a few extra bucks. I bet he'd slit his mama's throat for five yen. Oh my god. No matter how high his net worth rises, he'll never be satisfied. He's lower than the scum on an earthward's belly. All that money and not, no charity's ever seen a dime. Well, I'm not sure he's not as bad as all that. Oh, this just... Something has happened at the scene. President Tanaka has emerged. He's carrying a microphone. It looks like he's going to sing. Here comes Tanaka of the airwaves to you. Grantor of your desires. Hi, everyone. Isn't Konami's is here for you year round, you rain or shrine. We have a monopoly of the cheapest, highest quality goods. Our customers' ecstatic screams cause noise at pollution. Our stocks rise so high they're a hazard to birds, and we make losers every day out of people who don't buy. We're the only vehicle left in this sad, desolate world. That's the amazing Konami's guarantee. We look forward to your business. President Tanaka's car drove off. Oh, he's gone. What the hell are you doing? You call yourself a journalist? If you can't get one lousy comment out of him, it's as good as free advertising. We'll have to interrupt you there, as we've just received a fax. It's from President Tanaka. The message reads, Hi, this is Tanaka, the best friend your pocketbook I've ever had. And what's in my pocketbook is my own business. That's not my company. It's not my company's money. So what is it to, to them how I use it? I mean, to be fair, if you're... To be fair, if he used his own money on something that he earned his own way, it's not exactly like he did anything illegal, right? I'm actually asking, like, if he did anything illegal, if he did it all legally, does it really matter? <coughs> but let me make one thing clear. I'm not ashamed of a single thing. My conscience is clear, dear viewers, so buy my products guilt-free. Amazing Konami is here for you, year-round, rain or shrine, but by now we're drowned in bitter tears. Bye-bye. Apparently, he had no intention of reeling his use for the funds. Has this Tanaka no shame? And remember, we do know that he put, put all his money towards towards a charity, so... Just because he made some money for himself doesn't mean he can toy with the common man's emotions. As self-pointed representation of Joe Q. Public, I have something to say. I'm not afraid to say it. Fat pigs like him who gorge themselves on the excess of capitalism should be... Thank you very much as we wrap up our special report. With no new clues on how the funds have been used... We can only hope that they went to a humanitarian purpose. <coughs> Next up, your daily glimpse into the stock market, where amazing Konami stock are skyrocketing on the strength of the bizarre revelations just now. The report continues. Yeah, that's probably how we had to see us. All is quiet. It doesn't seem like the others have returned yet. They all must be enjoying the peaceful evening. Even though you, you just returned from the school, you are feeling very tired. You should go to sleep early tonight. I wonder. Oh, yeah, you can't. Go to, yeah, you gotta go to sleep. What will you do? Go back to your room? You feel very tired. You should rest for today. I, I literally said I was going to my room. Go to bed early? Yes. <coughs> so it's Thursday. Class ended for today. Now I wonder if we go to the shrine, because I'm guessing. Junpei? There's something I can't remember. I give up. But I feel like it's something I really gotta remember. So I'm guessing we saw our links. 
because the only other links we have is Bebe, Student Council, which we never, oh no, we still have the Monk. I'm curious, how the fuck do you see the Monk? Like, where would you need to go for the Monk? Because we never maxed out, oh, I guess we also did do, but I'm guessing I guess and Chindro is also another one we can't exactly do. Let's, maybe he's at the shrine. <coughs> As you can see, none of our friends are here. Fuck, <coughs> just dorm. I, I, I don't know what else you can do. You're feeling tired. You can't keep your eyes open. You should rest. Tomorrow's senior graduation day. Ooh. Well, you do. Go back to your room. You feel very tired. You should rest for today. Go to bed early? Yes. <coughs> so their last day is March 5th. Graduation day. Your room. It's me, I guess. <coughs> open the door. I wonder if you said don't open the door. Talk about what? I remember everything. <coughs> Everyone seems to have forgotten. Yeah, I'm guessing because she's a robot, she won't forget. That day, <coughs> Don't cry. I'm sorry. It's just that when I remembered, I was afraid you might go somewhere far away. Like you did at the last battle. I just realized that the monk's one of the people who left the area. He possibly, probably just left because, ah, uh, whatever. Meanwhile, get on high school auditorium. The time to party <coughs> has finally come. That's I guess. This is our last day together. <coughs> we want the senior class to know that you've truly earned our respect. Is this, I guess this is voice actress? Using class D. I have no idea if it actually said the thank you there. This last year, I accepted an important responsibility as student council president. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunities to have a chance. Well, it must have been fate that interrupted and gave me an important reminder of this. As many of you may know, my father unexpectedly. He unexpectedly passed away due to sudden illness. Sudden illness? Wow, that's rare. I've never heard her stumble in a speech before. How many speeches did she actually give? This is the beginning of Oz. With that, a group... Then, that group, a handful of students stood up. I... Oh, they were more... They remember I doing remember. that. Yes. Upon my father's death, I was set adrift in life. No longer will I run from the future. I will <coughs> face it head on. In memory of my father's will. I am resolved, free from doubt or hesitation. This is because it is because I have such wonderful, such priceless friends. Sorrow! We we swore to each other never to lose hope, no matter what tomorrow brings. Just shutting that 
It's your leap from the stage to join everyone. God, I would love to have seen her leap. That's gonna be very confusing, there. <laughs> nope, <laughs> they just left. You know, on the roof of the high school, the warm sunlight and gentle will feels good on your resting body. I guess it's sitting close to where you're lying. You hear voices calling out to you. I just smiling gently. The gentle spring of sunlight warms your body. The cheering you hear from afar, the slightly chilly wind. This is the world you and your friends protected. You feel a bit a little sleepy. Footsteps and several familiar voices are drawing near. <laughs> the bright sunlight and Agus's voices softly overlap. <laughs> You're getting sleepier. Your eyes, your lids feel heavy. Close your eyes. And that is Persona 3 Portable. An updated version of the Persona 3 game that gave us the female protagonist. We wish she was referenced for more. <coughs> oh, sorry. It's emotional, she just died. Friends to you get to see her in the end. You could get to see his friends again. I'm, sorry, I'm just gonna need a minute.
Yes, Magus, that's the end of Persona 3. We went through our most of our year, we fought to the very end, and in the end, it's over. We, we died. We die at the end. Everyone else, well, kind of. Later games, Arena does apply. The protagonist is actually just sealed, and there's a way to free him from... I'm just going to say his fate, because in all points, it's been treated the male protagonist is the one. Yeah, the female gets has gotten pretty much shafted by Atlas over the years. She's only really appeared in um, Persona t Q2, and she's also implied to be from an alternate universe as the rest of the... Persona. So technically, at all points, she's still canon. She's just not something you're going to see often. <coughs> but yeah, that's that's the ending. And if you're wondering, why does she die in the end? This might be for those who didn't see, or basically it's because towards the, our last little bit for Nyx, when we defeat her, we sealed her away, to be exact, using a spell called the Great Seal, which, what did it cost us? All of our HP, so she, our protagonist, Monica, Monaco, she dies to cast that gray seal. She, she uses every bit of her health. She still lived until graduation, too. But, <coughs> Persona 3, portable. The first of the, I'm going to call this modern day Persona games, or modern Persona games at least, because... While Persona 3 is the third actual Persona game, the other two, 1 and 2, are, honest to God, so much different that, honest to God, if you, just, if you took out the Persona and named this another series, <coughs> I would not be surprised it was another series. Like, I would have no idea. Like, you, don't, you won't see a lot of connections between 1 and 2. <coughs> there are some, like, Igor is in 1 and 2 from 3 and going on, but... Yeah, just the way they're connected in such different ways, it's it's hard to consider them the same. I will say, this has definitely been a absolutely fun game. Like, I enjoyed playing this game. Honest to God, I would love to see this game remastered, like, remade with graphics like Persona 5. Because I would love to see this remastered. Especially, I will say, this one, Portable, I feel like there was some different things added into the game. Like, in most Persona games, you actually get the control a character running on the fields. <coughs> like, honest to God, I would love to see this game remastered. Put it on the PS4, PS5. Love to see that. Come on, Atlas. It's the 25th anniversary of Persona, and I'm actually very grateful to be, I was able to play this game during the 25th anniversary. It's fitting we ended and played the first of the modern games, <coughs> the Personas, during its 25th anniversary. But, yeah, remake this game. I'd love to see it with graphics like Persona 5. But yeah, you see, one thing I was like, you won't see the characters. Like, if you remember with 4, you actually could see you running across the field. And if you've only played 5, like, and I actually think in the other versions, we could have loved to, we actually seen, like, I would have actually loved to have seen, like, things like Elizabeth stuck in the jungle bed. But I do think that part of that reason is because, part of that reason is because we were in the, um, we're playing, this is for the, the version we're playing portable is for the PSP. <coughs> so we can't actually copy that, but I will definitely say this is this was a fun game. I will admit some of the mechanics are annoying. Like this game encourages grinding, but also decourages is it by giving you like you can only grind so much, but it encourages you to grind to fight the bosses. Save a new cycle data? Yes. Some data from the previous cycle will be carried over to the new game. If you load this file, it will restart. Be aware, you will lose your old data if you overwrite it with new cycle data. Basically, this is just basically saying you can do a new game plus. I'll save it right here. We're obviously not going to do a new game plus. But, <coughs> yeah, this is Persona 3. It was... I'll let this little clip play out, but... Yeah, this was, I absolutely enjoyed this game. It was fun to play. This is really the series that started it all. Like, this is the game that started the, it all for this. Because like I said, this is the first game in the series that started things like the wild card, team members, Arcana, Igor's role as the 
The room's host. I will say yes, this game had some bare minimum things. Again, I, I gave a perfect example is Akihiko's sprite. You notice he's always carrying some sort of jacket <coughs> thing. I will say it, it does have some weaknesses. The social links are a little weak. And again, like the original version, we couldn't even see our male social links. And while we didn't come across this, the ability to break links. Yeah, but honest to God. Oh, and everything to do with Ken's character. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I know I was over. It might seem like I was overly harsh to Ken, but he's one of the characters I really don't like. Partially because I don't feel like he contributes much to the story, other than literally being an asshole to the character who literally feels bad and terrible for something that he never meant to happen. Also, as you remember, we could start relationships with certain characters in this game. Ken is one of them. While in the American version, it's edited out immensely. In the Japanese version, yes, you can end up with a relationship with the elementary schooler. Like, I gotta be honest. I'm very disappointed Atlas put that originally. Like, like, but yeah, honest to God, yeah, like I said, his character he just doesn't feel worth while. Well, but yeah, honestly, I enjoyed this game. I liked it. It was fun. I very much appreciate Persona 3 for starting what was pretty much the Persona style. Like, anyone who complains, like, well, I'm sad, like, maybe, yeah, you can't connect between 1 and 2. We haven't seen connection, but Persona 3 really just started everything. Like, if we didn't have Persona 3, we wouldn't have Persona 4. We wouldn't have, we wouldn't have any of this, and I like it. Well, before I give us a call it, yes, I realize this is a short episode, but hey, we only had so much gameplay left and not much more we can do. I'll do the yeah, load game. Basically, just like new data. This is basically if we want to do New Game Plus. And while I would say it'd be fun to do a New Game Plus, we're going to have to wait until if this game ever gets voted for being played again. You know, sorry, but a little... Too. And for anyone asks, I have no idea if doing New Game Plus, if you can still do New Game Plus when you play as the male protagonist. I'm guessing no, though. I feel like it's too... So if you wanted to switch from protagonist, you have to do regular play. <coughs> Sad, because honest to God, Persona is one of those game series I feel like you need a new game just to see everything. But before I give us our call for the day, I'm just going to make a bit of an announcement. For all of you who are wondering and what's about next, a vote will be written up later today, which I know is pretty much a late thing. I will probably leave it past this week, maybe to next week, to see what we will play next. But, so yeah, if you want to find a vote will be up, go to Tumblr.com, Dragon Knights, the Tumblr Dragon Knights Sworn. There will be a post. I will keep reblogging it with a straw poll. What will be our next game? And I'll leave it running Maybe throughout the rest of the week till the weekend. I'll constantly reblog it, see who's interest. But yeah, the next game or stream will be soon. Now, maybe, who knows? Maybe Persona 3, a new game plus, will win. But yeah, look forward to our next game. Game, this is the Night Show signing off. Hope you enjoyed my show. Share, favorite, follow, like. If you know others who will be entertained by my show, entertained by my show, send them my well. Happily entertain you all. This has been Persona 3 Portable, a hell of a game.